All right, so in this step, we're going to import the sheet. Now, as I was showing you um, in the earlier video, this plant set's got 30 sheets in it. Um, and we want to basically just do, in this particular case, um, we only want to bring in maybe one or two of these sheets and not all 30. Now, I'm going to bring in this site plan initially because I'm going to use this sheet to do a 2D takeoff. And then we'll show you how to bring in the other sheets and, and bring multiple sheets uh, to work with. So that's uh, sheet number three. Um, I also might want to bring in um, maybe sh this sheet here, which is actually the grading plan sheet, which is this one here, which is sheet number six. All right. Um, we'll get to that, but let's start with the one, the site plan. So it all depends on what we have. And right now, what I want to know on a 2D takeoff is I'm really just looking for area length and count. So I want to know how much linear feet of curbing I'm going to I'm going to have. And I have two different types of curbing. Um, in this particular project, I want to know what the area of my concrete slabs are, my building footprint, um, and then what my paving areas are going to be. So I'm really just looking for area um, to do a 2D takeoff. So I'm going to start with this sheet, and then we'll build on to these other sheets, and you'll see that as we go through this. So I've identified that I want sheet number three. Now, if I just had sheet number three, you could just drag and drop it um, because... I don't have sheet number three and I've got a, a PDF with 30 sheets. I just want to rip out that one sheet. So I'm going to use the import command, which is up on the quick access toolbar. And this is kind of fourth icon over. Um, you can see here import. And it's going to come up. It's going to ask you for an import folder. So when you download the PDF, um, wherever you stored it, I'd recommend that you store it in a folder um, called, you know, on your C drive called takeoff demo um, or wherever you want. You're gonna click on this three buttons over here and you're gonna navigate to where that you stored and saved that PDF. So if I come into my folder here, I can come in and go to my project, which I have here, which is this T 2020 TBC takeoff. And you'll see that that is the site takeoff PDF. So it's finding that file. And then I'm going to come down to my settings. In my settings, I've got a DPI, um, which is, you know, I can set to 150 or 300 or 600. Um, you can mess around with these settings. It does make a difference depending on the quality of your PDF. Um, I usually go with 300. And then it says page ranges. So I'm only interested in this particular case in page three. So I'm going to enter in page three. I don't want to import it as a sheet. I actually want it to come into my workspace here. Um, and the plan set name is going to be, oh, it's, I'm just going to call it site, right? Because this is the site plan. So I'm going to do a site with a dash. And it's going to put, um, you'll see this come into play when I bring in the import the layers. Um, join dash lines, we'll go ahead and we'll click on that to yes. So any dash lines that are um, in the PDF will come in as, as joined lines. And then I'm just going to click on import. It's going to take a, a second to import it and process it. And because I am doing this one sheet, it's loading uh, the vector PDF data as, as it showed there. And now you can see the sheet. Now what we want to do is we have to scale it. So we can't just click on close because if we click on close, we haven't properly placed this into our project. So you'll notice over here, I got zero, zero. So earlier in the other video, I moved my zero, zero grid down there. So I'm in positive coordinates here. Um, and actually probably I'm going to be a negative down here, but it's actually outside my site. So I'm not too concerned about that. So what I need to do is I can place it by either a known distance, a line with a distance and a bearing, or a scale bar with a distance and bearing. So I do have a scale bar and I have a north arrow. Um, I just want to keep this as it is, which is, you know, um, north in this direction, but I need to scale it. Now, I could use this scale bar where I got a 40-foot length. I prefer to use something of uh, length, a longer length, which in this case would might be this property line over here. But if we take a look, um, there may or may not be distances on that line. In this case, we actually do have a distance of 295.62. Now, I verified that 
by looking at one of the other sheets in my plan set. So if we go and we look at the, um, uh, let me open up this other sheet here. Bring that down. If I look at the Alta survey on this plan, I can zoom in and see that that is that property line and that's 295.62. All right. So I'm just kind of double checking. All right. So I got a good distance there. So I'm going to put in 295.62 for my distance. And then I'm going to go from pixel to two pixels. So I'm going to pick two points in my project. And if I come down here, I can snap. You can see the little uh, blue X. It's snapping to that corner. So I know I'm picking a good spot. And then I can come up here and do the same thing and pick that corner there. And it picks those two coordinates of the image. I'm going to click Compute. And it's going to rescale my image um, to, those, uh, to those values. You can see now I'm no longer down at 0, 0. I'm actually up in a coordinate system based off of the two points that I picked. And, and again, that really doesn't really matter. So I can turn off my grid now. And now I've got my image placed. To verify that, I'm going to go up to my quick access toolbar. I'm going to click measure. And I'm going to pick a from and a two point. So I'm going to come in here and find a couple distances. So like here's one that's 34. Um, you'll notice I'm not snapping now. I'm just going to go ahead and pick somewhere close and I'll pick over here and I can see I'm 33906 supposed to be 34 I would say that's pretty good now once I import the vector PD uh, vector data I can do the measure again but I know that I picked the right two points and you know that looks good all right so that's importing the PDF and you'll do this regardless of whether you're doing a 2d or 3d takeoff so in the following processes um, we'll, we'll come back and show this again, but we'll do something slightly different. But that's getting the PDF in now. Um, one of the things that you might want to do, um, it's still selected. I haven't, if I left click out here, you can see I've unselected it. And if I come over to the Project Explorer tab and I pick on it, you'll see it's selected now. Now, if I go to Properties or right click and go to Properties and it'll bring up the Properties window, I can see some information about it. So if I want to change the name, I can rename it. If I come down here, I can change the transparent background and the transparent color. Um, I like to come into the display style and change this to either inverted. So it's giving me the black with the white. Or I can change it to uh, blue line. All right. So either way, I can do that. Um, and I'll show you that in the, um, in the next video as well.